happy fall. All right, hello everyone. I decided to do a quick haul video, but I decided to be my last Halloween purchasing, unless I need something for like a crafting thing or something, but I'm done just like buying Halloween decorations. I think, I hope, let's keep me to it. <laughs> so I just went to a local thrift store, which ended up having nothing, and then Dollar Tree and Dollar General, which I've never gone to Dollar General for Halloween. I've never gone to Dollar General for like anything really. I've only been like stepped in one like a handful of times. Definitely never for um, Halloween situations. And I was like, wait, why have I never checked it out? Honestly, I was pleasantly surprised by Dollar General, but I would still have to say in the end, Dollar Tree kills it with their decorations, with their like trick-or-treating stuff, with like kind of every category except costumes. Um, Dollar Tree can sometimes have decent accessories in my opinion, like, you know, very like dorky, not a dorky, but like, you know, they're cheap, obviously accessories, but I think if you're anything for your costume, you should get there. It would be an accessory, um, not really anything like too important. Um, they like don't even carry like more grown costumes whereas Dollar General did actually have a good assortment of masks um accessories not so much straight costume but you know like they did kind of better in like the mask and like the more adult situation there um Dollar General had good they actually had good like trick-or-treating like candy stuff they had a lot of cute like fall things just not so much like Halloween um and I'm trying to remember if I'm like forgetting anything. I don't know, but I'm going to do a haul and everything is from Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Um, I will start with Dollar General because like I said, I was pleasantly surprised as someone who doesn't really go to Dollar General. So this is everything I bought at Dollar General. I bought a Halloween. I don't think anything I bought was more than a dollar. If it was, it was like two, two fifty. I bought a Halloween door cover. This one has a little creepy clown on it, and I'm gonna put this on my front door. <laughs> mhm. Mm um, don't worry, I don't really get trick or treaters, so I won't be scaring children. I got two things of the, what do they call it, creepy cloth decoration. I think I got one of these also from Dollar Tree just because I was sitting there and I was like, I feel like I'm going to need more. So I technically have three. Two came from Dollar General, two came from Dollar Tree. Pretty sure the, they're the exact same thing. I got um, some spider web stuff that I really don't think I'll use a ton of. I'll probably just use this. Like, I kind of want to wrap it like where this is such a bad idea where the food is <laughs> around like around some of the like around the bottom of some of the bowls. I think I want to do that because I want to put these bad boys around the food which is I got two giant spiders which these were both a dollar which I felt was like I think a dollar yeah which I felt this was fair they also had like little like bats um but I mean it's pretty big obviously um so I do plan on using these around the food and probably these these are smaller um spiders and I kind of want to put one of them like in the drink bowl, but like secure it so it's not just floating around. Or who knows, maybe it'll just be floating around. But I kind of want to do that so it's like in there. And then I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the other th two in here. Three medium spiders for a dollar. I'll take it. I'll take it. Golden ticket item was eight dollars. Which hurt me and I almost was like, I can't. I was very close to walking out without this, but then I was like, you know what, Shelby, just be this for Halloween. So, um, guys, guess what I'm going to be for Halloween? <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm literally, it's, they're calling this a sorcerer mask. Um, I'm going to be Gandalf the White. Because we all love a good comeback story. I'm so excited. It literally has a ponytail. It has like of the beard of this. Also, this could definitely pull dwarf. I just want to say it looks like um what's his name from The Hobbit, the old dude. I could be him too. We'll decide. I'm going to look at pictures. It looks more him than Gandalf. So now I have to see like that's where I said like honestly, that was a good mixture 
and I think when I like open my Dollar Tree stuff like I pretty much bought the same things at both so let's just hop into that okay I bought a window cover from Dollar Tree and it's two little skeletons being like Mah. So I'm gonna hang that in a front window somewhere. I got a wall decoration to use as a backdrop for an upcoming video. It's a little kitty mixing potions and it says happy Halloween. Um, obviously I told you about the cloth. They had, they had a good, actually, see yeah, Dollar Tree just has more to offer in my opinion. It has like more home decorations, kind of more of everything. Um, like they literally let like a whole corner of their store be taken over by Halloween things, which Dollar General put more attention on the Christmas aisle than the Halloween aisle. And I was like, well, Halloween comes first. But anyway, um, so I got two little skeleton heads. One is probably going to go near the food. And the other one I might put in the bathroom somewhere. <laughs> you know. Um, I got... Two skeleton garlands and I got two for the sake of I want to hang one in the bathroom and the other I like the size of the skeletons and I want to cut two of them off paint them black and turn them into earrings and then I'll just probably pop these guys in the food area too or like stick them in places and be like boo you know um and almost last but not is a blade with headbands this is one of the like accessories i was talking about and it's like the set for like this attaches to this thing and then it's like ah oh, my head i actually got this for my dog because i want her to be a lumberjack for halloween aka i'm just having her put on her christmas onesie and i want to see if she'll take a picture with this on her head i think she will she's pretty chill fashion <laughs> <laughs> this is cute actually it's really comfy too so like these are the accessories i'm talking about like they have like they had a box of like weapons and stuff which dollar general did too dollar general actually had more detailed like they called it old time weapons where it was like huge like detail detailed swords and like stuff whereas like dollar tree had more just like classic like hatchet a bloody like huge butcher knife you know stuff like that so um yeah and then last thing i got were these little drinking cups and i got one for everyone coming to the party and i it's a little giveaway for 2019 halloween party it's literally just a stemless glass i almost went for the stem but then i was like eh more chance to dump things not a good idea but there was black and orange i bought all the rest of the black ones because <laughs> i was afraid i figured don't let people have a choice so that i don't have to worry about having certain numbers of things and everyone's getting black <laughs> um but yeah so there's like a skeleton hand coming around it obviously and i just think it's really fun i kind of want to put like a tag on it or something or put something in it to be like welcome to the party but then where are they going to put that stuff when they're drinking i don't know I haven't decided yet but i mean look at it this is cute wait okay this is this is cute this is a look who wants to take me on a date how do you like Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I paid eight dollars for this. Like, okay, wait. Like, I I know. Like, okay, the hair is nasty, but and maybe I'm saying this incorrectly, but for something like this, you'd be paying like twenty bucks at Spirit Halloween. Which get don't get me wrong, I love Spirit Halloween. Dude, I paid $8 for this. They had a couple other good ones. They didn't have like a ton, ton, ton of selection. So 
I would just uh, keep an eye out. Alright, so that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I guess, what are your thoughts, Dollar Tree versus Dollar General, if you have both in your area? Um, I've always been a Dollar Tree girl. I don't know if I'll ever switch to, like, the other side. But Dollar General honestly does have, like, things to offer that I forget about pretty often. So, I'll probably check it I might check it out <laughs> more um, for, like, decorations and little things. Because, obviously, you're probably getting, like a few more like I don't want to say options but like a slight step up from Dollar Tree and certain a slight step up from Dollar Tree maybe in terms of like your options since it's going to be a little bit a little bit more pricey um you know stuff like that because they just offered like a different selection there so I really hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see y'all in the next one can you sit you say thank you